Hello, Chris at ePianos here. If you are trying to decide at the moment between the Yamaha CLP645 and CLP675, then this video is for you. I'm going to explain precisely what the differences are between these two pianos and what it is you get for your extra money. Check out the ePianos website for the latest deals and offers on Yamaha digital pianos and keyboards. Also check out our huge selection of pre-owned stock and come and visit us in our showroom here in Banbury, just off Junction 11. So I'll jump straight in. There are, for me, four major differences between these pianos. Um, that is where your money is going. Um, approximately £400 difference between these two instruments, and these are the big reasons. Um, jumping straight in, the key mechanism on these two pianos is different. They both have weighted keys, but the CLP645 uses the older version. It's called the GH3, or the N, in fact, it's called the NWX action. Um, it's still weighted, it feels like a piano to play, but it is older technology. The 645 uses Yamaha's newer technology um, called Grand Touch. This is something that even a beginner will feel. Um, folks that come into our showroom here, um, sit down and play these two pianos, they notice it immediately that 675 does feel different. Now, how does it feel different? Well, to me, it certainly feels heavier uh, to the touch and the response seems pretty much the same from the tip of the key all the way to the back of the key. Now, why is this important? Well, the Yamaha, of course, are always striving to get their digital pianos to be more authentic. And uh, every time a, a new edition of these pianos come along in their cycle, which is once every uh, four to six years, um, better technology has been researched and developed. So we're seeing that improved technology filter into the top two pianos here in the Clavinova range. So we have the Grand Touch keyboard on the 675 and the older version on the 645. Should mention as well, both of them have wooden keys, which is a really nice feature, but that's the first major thing. Um, 675 has that Grand Touch keyboard. Second uh, major difference between these two pianos is the speaker and amplifier configuration. Now, it's not all about volume. It's important to realize that it's not all about volume with these things. You might think, well, I'm not going to play too loud because I've got neighbors that I mustn't disturb. Um, but it's more to do with the variation that you can get from the piano in terms of playing with light and shade, putting a bit of feeling into your playing as well. 675, and again, this is something that people notice even without much playing experience, um, has more depth in the bass and the sound is also crisper and has more clarity all the way through to the top end as well. In comparison, um, 645 does tend to feel a little bit boxed in when you play the two together, as you'll hear later on. There's a two-way speaker system on 645. There's a three-way speaker system on 675. Now, what that really means is if you look along underneath the two pianos, you'll see that 645 has an empty cavity underneath, which granted does have acoustic properties, but it's also got these two little speakers pointing downwards. Under 675, what we have is a great big bass speaker that's running all the way from one side, or nearly all the way from one side to the other. And this, when you really give it some welly, you can feel it flapping your trouser legs. It really improves that bassier end. But don't be fooled into thinking it's all about volume, as I said. Um, it's all about giving you the range to play as a sensitive player, which you have to develop and you will develop as you improve. So CLP645 has the two-way speaker system, three-way speaker system on CLP675. Now, the um, third really big difference between these two pianos is all to do with how the keys themselves are weighted. They both feel weighted. In fact, they are, well, they really are weighted. On the inside, they do have hammers attached to the key, so it's a real weighting you're feeling. On a traditional grand piano, every single key, as you go up the keyboard, has its own weight, and of course it gets lighter as you go to the top. It's quite it's quite pronounced on a traditional piano, and you do feel it on these as well. But there's a crucial difference between these two. And what it is, is the 675 is the first one in the range where every single key does have its own weight. On CLP 645, 
what happens is although the keys at the bottom are heavier than the keys at the top, as you go up, you'll find that they move up in blocks. So there's a certain block that have the same weight, say four or five keys. Then the next block will have the same weight, but they'll be slightly lighter. Then the next block will have the, and on and on. Uh, you understand what I mean. So 675 is the first one that does have this uh, weighted, um, linear weighted keys, as they call it, where every single key as you go up is has its own weight. Now, again, this is important because what we're striving to do with these pianos is achieve maximum authenticity. And of course, that is what we have on a traditional piano. That is replicated on the 675. It's the first one in the range that does it. So for me, that is another major reason um, why 675 is a superior spec than 645. Now the fourth really big difference between these two pianos is how you control them using the sustain pedal. Um, because the 675 has a technology called GP damper response, which is missing on 645. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, let me explain. Um, on a piano, traditional piano, when you play a note, you're hearing a string that's vibrating inside the cabinet. Uh, when you play a note, it causes a hammer to come up and hit a string and it starts to vibrate. Now, when you take your finger off the key, a hammer will return and it will kill the sound from the string, unless you play the sustain pedal with your foot, which will cause the hammer to stay away from the string and the string will continue to vibrate, therefore the sound is sustained. Now on a traditional grand piano, you have the ability to do what's called half pedaling, which is where the hammer returns ever so slightly, not all the way, but just a little bit. And it takes the edge off the vibration, um, causing, causing the sound to be numbed down ever so slightly. It's a very, very important skill to have. And you are required as you're doing the upper grades to show that type of control and subtlety in your playing. Now this technology is missing from 645, but we do have it on 675. That's GP damper response. Very important to consider if you have high aims playing the piano or if you're buying for someone who you think is gonna be quite an advanced player. That's a really important um, facility to have in a digital piano. So just quickly to go over um, some of the other spec that is the same. They both have, of course, um, full length 88 keys. Um, both of the key sets, um, the white keys are made out of wood. Um, the dimensions are more or less the same, but 675, as you can see, is ever so slightly um, higher, 40 millimeters higher. Um, we have a little bit more depth, but not by much on the 675. They both can take Bluetooth um, control, so you can play music through them from your uh, phone or your tablet or whatever. You can record on both of these and take your recordings off as a WAV file on a USB stick. Of course, you can wear headphones with both of these as well. They've got lots of sounds built into them. Um, crucially, the two really wonderful um, grand pianos that you'll hear, the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand and the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand as well. So this video has been all about the differences. Um, just to summarize for you then, um, the main thing is the key mechanisms is different between these two pianos. Um, we use older technology on 645. It's still very nice, still feels weighted, but we've got the newer version of it, um, closer to the real thing on CLP 675 called Grand Touch. Speakers and amplifiers are a different setup. We have a two-way system on 645 and a three-way system on 675, um, giving you more round sound, um, particularly on the bass end, but there's a crispness that's present all the way through to the treble end as well. 645 does feel a little bit boxed in in comparison. Um, the keys, the way the keys are weighted as they're graded and they go up, uh, they get lighter. Um, 645, it does it in blocks. 675 is the first one that uh, replicates a traditional piano in full in that every single key has its own weight as you go up the keyboard. And as I've just explained, the GP damper response. So you've got more control with controlling the, um, the hammer returning to the string. Not that there are strings in these, by the way, um, but the effect is killing slightly 
the vibration of a string to give you more control over the sound, just what you would get on a traditional grand piano. If you have any questions whatsoever, just leave them in the comments section below or send us an email or give us a ring at the shop. We're open Monday to Saturday, 10 till five. Come into the showroom and see us. We've got all the pianos here on display and a big secondhand section as well. You're welcome to come in. It's parking right out of our, uh, outside of our shop, just off the M40 Junction 11 here in Banbury. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.